Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Baker, and welcome to the Liver Chiropractic Center's Tuesday Night Education. Tonight we're going to be talking about the safety pin cycle. Now, many of you, probably if you're new to chiropractic, and in fact, even if you've been around chiropractic for quite some time, you might have never heard about the safety pin cycle. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is how I learned about how chiropractic is capable of helping so many individuals. And it answers the question of why does chiropractic work? Now, I'm just going to tell you. You know what? If you pause now and you stop watching, you are going to miss a huge amount of information that's going to help you understand how your body works. Because this education, I've already learned. This education, this information, I understand. And yet so many people out there oftentimes ask, so how does chiropractic help with headaches and low back pain? How does it help with allergies? Why is it that chiropractic is so good for you know, children with colic or older people with tinnitus and ringing in the ears? Well, listen, you stay tuned, watch until the end, in fact, you're not only going to learn a little bit about how your body functions, how it works, but you're also going to learn how to be able to teach somebody else. You know, at one time, this safety pin was the key to educating people on the complexity of the nervous system. Now, if you've ever opened up a Gray's Anatomy book or if you've ever looked at, you know, a online, you know, reading of what your nervous system looks like, let me tell you, it's complex. In fact, if you ever Google and look at pictures of your nervous system, the complexity only starts with all of those little fibers that go all over your body. Let me tell you, hundreds of hours are spent by every single doctor in understanding how this nervous system controls absolutely every part of the body. Well, we're going to simplify it tonight. So, this safety pin helped to explain this in an age when, hey, listen, the, the computer system wasn't there. Internet wasn't around. You couldn't Google or Siri information. But the safety pin was. And remarkably, it helps us understand this, the ABCs of chiropractic. How everything in the body is controlled by your nervous system. Bad things happen when, well, your nervous system isn't able to communicate properly with the body. And then finally, by correcting or removing that subluxation, the bone's out of place, well, everything just simply works better. And the remarkable thing is, this happens to be a law of life. I'm going to tell you, if you don't believe it, well, you're going to figure it out really quickly. As your brain creates a signal, and this safety pin, when you look at it, the very top of this represents your brain, it sends signals down into your body. Your body, which is represented by the bottom of the safety pin, it takes it, it absorbs that information, uses it, but it also sends signals back up to your brain, so your brain knows what to do next. Well, here's the thing. In life, if in fact everything is wiring and firing the way it's supposed to, this is a continuous loop that just simply flows the way it's supposed to. But the problem is, is that when we have bones that are out of place, they're called subluxations. What that does is it causes a break. It causes this safety pin to have this gap. Well, unfortunately, information does, doesn't get to jump across. And whether your body is sending information from your brain down or the body is sending information up to your brain, Guess what? It's not able to communicate the way it's supposed to. Therefore, bad things happen. And that lack of communication leads to a state of disease or a lack of health. Now, listen, I'm pretty sure everybody out there, you're thinking, well, that is certainly something I'm not wanting to sign up for. But it's a choice. And either we choose to obviously test the system and look at how it's functioning, or we choose to stick our head in the sand and ignore what's going on inside of us. I love this picture. This picture is one in which it describes 
how you know the complexity of our body can be boiled down to the simple flow, the simple system of that normal function that's going to happen when that safety pin is nice and closed the way it's supposed to. But sadly, when the safety pin opens up, yes, a state of disease happens. And like I said, this is supposed to be a circle, a circle of life, where in fact your brain creates a signal, those efferent or the motor nerves, they send the information to your body. The afferent nerves, the sensory nerves, send signals back up to the brain, and it continues in this loop over and over and over again. Now, some of you are thinking, oh, okay, so how does this even apply? Well, listen, many of you have experienced this, this reflex that happens, this constant loop that happens. When you sit and you have your, your patellar tendon, your kneecap hit with a, with a hammer, well, you know if you hit right below your kneecap, what ends up happening, well, your leg jumps out. In that split second, your leg jumps out, and in that split second, it also relaxes and goes back down again. That's because as you've created that stimulus, your brain says, hey, you've stretched out this, in, you stretched out this tendon, and in turn, we need to contract the muscle. So it jerks the muscle, it causes it to contract, sends your leg sailing. In that split second, as your brain is being told there's no longer this stimulus or signal, it causes the muscle to relax, which is why your leg then comes back down again. Remarkably, you can do it over and over and over again. Now, let's just imagine that we have this. We have this opening. That subluxation is there. Well, now, regardless of whether it's in the motor nerve, sending signals down to the muscle, or the sensory nerve where your muscles are sending signals up to your brain, regardless, you're not able to get that information through the way it's supposed to, so, well, your muscle's not gonna contract. Your leg's not gonna jerk out. And in turn, you're not gonna be able to have that reflex demonstrated the way it's supposed to. This happens again and again and again every single day in all of our lives. You know, if you're sitting down right now and you're, you're getting ready for dinner and you're cooking your meals, you probably experience this. You're reaching out for that spoon, you're grabbing a hold of it, you're, you're mixing inside that pot, you're doing it without even looking. Same when you take that spoon and you just hold it up to your lips. Well, there's a reason why you don't shove that spoon up your nose. That's because your brain is constantly being reprogrammed. It's being told where it is in space, that spoon, so that yes, you don't shove that spoon up your nose, but you actually get it in your mouth where it's supposed to go. You know, we have this demonstrated out again and again and again for us. Whether it's us tying our shoes, whether it's you know putting our hand out to simply grab a hold of a ball as it's thrown to us. We have this system that is played out again and again and again, thousands and thousands of times. In fact, not only on that conscious level, but also on that subconscious level. Think about this food that you're about to eat or that you've just eaten. Are you telling your body, oh yeah, by the way, you need to dump this much acid or this much base into your stomach in order to digest that food? Oh, there's this, this, these tiny muscles that constantly contract in order to move product through your small and large intestine, that peristalsis. Your brain does that all on its own. It happens to be a reflex. Those things are occurring in the background, whether you think about them or not. And in fact, you know, if in fact we do have those subluxations, yes, they are silent killers because they diminish our body's ability to communicate the way it's supposed to. Anytime that we have these subluxations, we're living in that state of disease. And many of you can recall your x-rays, you've seen that bad posture, which is demonstrated on the x-ray, which is those subluxations. You get to see the bones when you look at those x-rays. We recognize from the outside, yes, if we are seeing that bad posture, 
it represents an unhealthy spine. And that unhealthy spine is caused by those subluxations. Therefore, whatever is connected to the other end of those subluxations isn't able to work the way it's supposed to. And in the end, the purpose of your adjustments here at the office, they are simple. Remove the subluxation. As a doctor of chiropractic, we do absolutely no healing. Your body has that already within. There's no way that any of us are capable of replicating what your body knows how to do. But as long as that subluxation is there, yes, your body can't operate as well as it's supposed to. And the sad thing is, is that if in fact we're not testing the system, we have no idea how our body is functioning, how it works. Now, I love these dimes. These dimes have meaning to me. In fact, you know, the big meaning is the fact that we can't feel subluxations. Patients oftentimes come in and it's like, well, doc, I don't feel, believe that to be true. I'm in a lot of pain. I got a lot of pain. Of course I can feel these subluxations. Yeah, you can feel the subluxation, but that's only because you've destroyed the body. More than 60% of that nerve flow has been choked or cut off. When those subluxations first started, they would have been simple and easy to fix and correct. But because they didn't exceed compressing the nerve, choking off that nerve flow by over 60%, guess what? There is no pain, there is no signal. And a lot of times we have to use the example of things like, you know, cavities or cancer, where there is no signal until when? Until it's too late. And yes, these subluxations are silent killers. We know that in the end, as we experience these subluxations, our body is tremendously weakened. I want to make sure that each and every one of you have that opportunity of understanding the true effect of these subluxations and not only being able to understand it for yourself, but being able to understand and communicate this to others. See, I recognize we're not here just for ourselves. We're here in order to help, to help others around us not get to the place that we're at. This is why we always ask for you to not only like these videos, but also leave and share comments, and then finally share it amongst your Facebook friends. As a chiropractor, I recognize that if more people knew about what was going on inside of their body, people would make better, smarter choices, and ultimately not get to that point of crisis where their body is broken down, damaged beyond repair, and ultimately needing to turn to things like medication, injections, surgeries. Nobody ever starts out by saying, this is what I want to do. When in fact, there's simple and easy ways of effectively correcting these problems before they rule our lives. Now, one of the big questions that I have is, who do you know? Who do you know that you need to be sharing this information with? Because in the end, if you tell me, hey, listen, this was really great information. It was nice to have a better understanding of how my spine, my nervous system works, how my brain controls absolutely everything inside my body. Well, if that's all that comes for this conversation, that's nice, but we missed the mark. Because there's people out there that don't know what you know about how their body functions and about the choices that they have in order to maintain the health in their body and maintain that vitality. So I'm gonna ask you, share this information. Share this information with your Facebook friends. In fact, for, those, for the first three individuals who do leave a comment in the comment section, we're gonna have one of our safety pins for you to take home with you, along with an explanation of how to use that properly. I love the fact that we have that opportunity of sharing information. It's simple, it's easy, but we never know how far reaching it's gonna be in somebody else's life. We all know somebody else out there that needs to hear the hope, the hope that they're not stuck, 
the hope that they have options, and the hope that they're capable of taking control and changing the direction of their health. I'm Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic Center.